Now, with so much negativity around at the moment, you can't even open the newspaper, you can't turn on the TV, you can't even listen to the radio without all the doom and gloom that comes hand in hand with the recession. But here to help us be a little bit more positive and optimistic is life coach Richard Butler. Richard, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very I'm much I'm very for well. Good. And I'm, I'm delighted that you're here today because we are talking about being positive. Yes. And it's all about positive mental attitude. Exactly, exactly. I think it's, it's very important that we remain positive in these economic times um, because a lot of the times if we if we start thinking neg negative we just get into a downward spiral of, of negativity and we think that everything is bad um, but if you wake up in the morning you're alive the, it's a nice day outside you know think of try and focus on even small little positive things that you see every day because if we look at the papers open up the papers it is all just negativity it's either murders bank robberies um, more people unemployed companies closing down and if we focus too much on that, we will just get very, very negative about it. And then, as I say, it gets into a vicious spiral. And then you think, my God, is my job going to go? And you start worrying about your job. And of course, then if you worry about your job, you might perform as well as you should. And all it all has a knock-on effect. It all has a knock-on effect. Exactly, exactly. Um, sometimes what I say to people is, I say, be careful about starting your day by reading the newspaper or watching the news or whatever it may be, because you're filling yourself with negativity from the very, very start of the day. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean you have to live in a, in, a, in a bubble and be completely isolated. I think you have to choose carefully what you actually read. For me, I would listen to a lot of um, self-help audios. I would say, if I go to the gym or whatever it may be, or if I'm in the car, I just stick on something and listen to that. Perks me up a little bit. Music, music is a great thing as well that I love. Just to put me into a good mood, I'll stick on some good song, and I'll be driving along, and I'll be bopping away <laughs> in the car, and I'll be happy, and people be looking at me going, what's wrong with this guy? But it, you have the choice of either being negative or positive, so I say to people, try as much as you can being positive. Now, it's not, it's not uh, you know, I don't want people to think, oh, this, this guy here must be like positive all the time and happy. Of course, <laughs> I get days as well where I'm just, I, I get up and I think, God, I don't want to do this. But you, you just have to keep pushing on, and a lot of that will come from goals, which we'll talk about later on. And, and I do think that they say, like, they do say, Good news is no news. Exactly. And I mean, I, I was reading the paper through the weekend, <laughs> I'm sure we all were, and you do go through the pages and it is unemployment and yes. government overspending and NAMA and Lisbon and, and everything. And it does make you feel that little bit, oh my God. Yeah. But I mean, people have lost their jobs and that's the reality. I mean, for people sitting at home at the moment who have lost their job, they are struggling to pay a mortgage. Yes. What would you say to those people? Because it is easy for us to sit here and say, oh, be positive. Uh, I would say there's, there's one thing about being positive, and you have to be positive, but I think the key to all of this is to take action. If you sit at home and do absolutely nothing, your situation will never change. So if you sit at home and say, there's no jobs, I can't do anything, uh, your situation is going to stay the same, it's going to stay negative. Whereas if you say, well, could I go on a retraining course? Um, could I do some voluntary work just to get out of the house? Because I, I've talked to people and... If you're sitting in the house all day and all you're doing is watching programs on TV, reading newspapers, not interacting with people, you will get, you, again, you'll get into a spiral of, of, of sort of more sort of feeling of negativity. And so you I, feel sorry for yourself. Exactly. You feel sorry for yourself. And, and then, we're all guilty of doing of that. Of course, we're absolutely. And I'll put up my hand and say <laughs> yeah, me too. And then, of course, that has a knock-on effect that you might go off and you might say, well, I'll do some retail therapy or I'll go off and I'll overeat or whatever it may be just to sort of change your state because it is a state that you're in. So that's the danger. You, you need to sort of get out. You need to see your options. There are always options, you know, and you always make a choice. If you decide to do nothing, you're making a choice as well. Okay. So you're deciding to do nothing, but that is a choice that you've actually made rather than to actually do something. But I like the way you're saying, okay, you know, because, I mean, people sitting at home are going, oh, be positive, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's, it's easy, that's really it's easy for them to say, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, when, you're, when you are, make, like, you're kind of setting yourself goals, well, today I'm going to work on my CV. Yes, I'm exactly. going to look at courses that I can go back maybe exactly. to, um, you know, college. Exactly. I'm going to read up on interview techniques. I'm going to search the internet for jobs that may suit me. Exactly. I'm going to make phone calls. I'm going to knock on doors. I mean, exactly. that's it, it, good. It, yeah, it's all about taking action because the thing is that maybe now is the ideal opportunity to start your own business. Maybe now is the ideal opportunity to move away. Maybe you've always thought of running a pub in Barcelona. Who knows? Maybe this is now your opportunity. So rather than seeing it as a negative thing, see what, positivity, what positive elements you can get from it. Um, there's one thing I, I, I do, which is called NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And it's about how we think and the words that we use in our mind. And certainly one of the things is we say there's no such thing as failure, there's only feedback. So if something doesn't work, don't see it as, oh, I tried that, I'm useless, I'm silly, I'm stupid. Take feedback from it. So you go to 10 interviews, they don't work out. Look back and see, well, what did I do wrong there? Was it that I wasn't prepared for the interview? Wasn't 
I was underqualified for the job, I was overqualified for the job, whatever it may be, but always try and extract a positive element from it rather than a negative element. Because I think they do say that some of the, the, the richest men in the world were bankrupt maybe 10 times. Well, see, that's just it, yeah, that, that they say they failed, but rather than sort of say I failed and that's it and give up, they actually just go back. They, they, they get up on the, on the horse, so to speak, and they just keep on going. And that's, that's what you need to do. And I know it is so, so difficult to do that. But sometimes you just have to really push. When you stop doing things, that's when you actually fail. You know, if you keep pushing and pushing. They say it was Tom Edison with the light bulb that he had something like 999 failures before he actually got the success that he wanted. Well, so if he'd given up after three goes, like most of us do, where would we be now? We'd be in the dark. Exactly. We could be. We'd have no lights like this, you know. So. But as well, I think it's, it's, it's interesting the way you say it's, it's about the language that you use in your yes. own head. Because we all have a chatterbox. We, yes. You know, we're talking to ourselves all the time. Yeah. Even when you're on your own, you're talking to yourself. Well, I know I am. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, <laughs> but, you know, the chatterbox in your head, and it's the language that you're using. It's about, you know, using the positive words as exactly. opposed to using the negative words. Exactly. And that's, that's something we, we call in coaching the inner critic, that it's always there. So you decide, I want to do something. And then suddenly this voice jumps in and says, oh, you can't do that because you didn't do it right the last time, you failed the last time, you did this, you did that. So you can use techniques to reprogram that, which, which I would do with people, and that you reprogram, rather than hearing that negative voice, you change it for a more positive voice. But it's something that everybody has. Because people worry as well. Yeah. You know, if, you're, if you are going for an interview, you have a job interview, you're thinking, oh, will this go? And you start playing out all these exactly. scenarios in your head about what he might ask or he mightn't ask exactly. or she might ask. And exactly. And as well, I, I think you're sending out those negative vibes as well. So if you go into an interview and you're worried, uh, they'll see it in your posture. They'll see by the way you answer questions. You might sort of be just really talking like that and looking down at the ground. Whereas if you even just change your posture and sit up straight, project your voice a little bit more, that's going to give people a different view of you. And I've talked to a lot of people that are, they appear super, super confident. And they say, but really deep down, I'm not that confident, but I just project it. And because you project it, people actually feel that from you. And they say, Olive is really confident, you know? That's all an act. Yeah, I know, well, I know, yeah, because I say it's, it's, it's true. No, no, not at all. But I know what you're saying. It is about being confident and kind of projecting that persona. Yes. And sometimes you say, f f fake it till you make it as well. <laughs> you know, so you have to believe that you can do I it. I like that one. No, but it's true because you have to believe which, that you can actually do something before you can actually do it. Whereas if, you, if you're sitting there thinking, I probably can't do this, uh, you've already put a negative thought into your mind, which is going to shut down any possibilities of you actually achieving what you want. And positive affirmations. I really liked that point that we were talking about earlier. I yes. mean, really briefly, for people sitting at home, tell us about what we should be saying to ourselves every day. Uh, we, we should be thinking positive things about ourselves, rather than saying, I'm not going to... to, to uh, an example is you get up in the morning, you spill a cup of coffee, and you say, it's going to be one of those days. Now, you've, you've put a blanket over the whole day, what I say to people is say, it, that's just one of those moments, that just happened, but that's not going to affect my whole day. Because if you come out with that attitude and then you're late, and then you say, damn it, the traffic is, 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 is slow, then you say, something's going to go wrong and work. And you're thinking that. So just think about it for a second and say, okay, that went wrong, I spilled a cup of coffee, but that's not going to affect the rest of my day. And you can start thinking things about yourself, even saying to yourself things like, I am a great person, rather than thinking, you know, I'm a bit of a failure. Don't think that. Think I'm a great person. And if you keep repeating that, it is going to help. But the key to all of this, as I said earlier, is to take action. Because if you don't take action, what's going to happen is it, you know, nothing's going to happen. You can sit at home saying, I'm going to get a better job, I'm going to get a better job, I'm going to get a better and job. And then watch telly. Exactly. <laughs> and not send out CVs. And unfortunately, people aren't going to knock on your door and say, Olive, we want you to do this, that, and the other. That you need to be taking action. And that is the key to all of this. Everything, I think, in life is just taking action. Okay. Well, listen, that's a great point to end this interview on. Take action. Take action. Absolutely. I love it. Great. And thank you so much for bringing all your positivity thank into you. the studio thank you very today. Much, and hopefully the rest of my evening will go Excellent. as Excellent. Of course it will. Of course it will. You have to think that it will and it will. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank Richard. you very much. Richard Butler there. And it is good to think positive. So do take on board his tips and advice and log on to his website, richardbutler.ie, for more information. Now we're going to take a quick break still to come. Kathy Hoffman will be here to talk about interiors. See you after the break.